Have you ever experienced a burning sensation in your chest after eating? If so, you're not alone. This common discomfort is often a sign of acid reflux, a condition affecting countless individuals across the globe. In today's discussion, we're going to unravel the mystery behind this prevalent condition. We'll explore what acid reflux really is, the intricate process of how the acid fluin works, and how you can get it. Then, we'll venture into the realm of nutrition, examining what foods can trigger this condition, and what ones might help to ease it. Whether you're a seasoned health enthusiast, or someone just starting on a wellness journey, this video promises to be informative and enlightening. So, grab a cup of tea, sit back, and prepare for a journey into the complex yet fascinating world of acid reflux. Acid reflux, also known as gastroesophageal reflux disease or GERD, is more common than you might think. Now let's break it down in simpler terms. Imagine your digestive system as a one-way street, where food travels from your mouth, down through your esophagus, and into your stomach. This flow is controlled by a muscular valve known as the lower esophageal sphincter, or LES. The LES acts like a traffic officer, allowing food to enter the stomach while preventing stomach acids from flowing back up into the esophagus. It's a rather efficient system, wouldn't you agree? However, when the LES doesn't perform its job well, we run into problems. Acid reflux occurs when the LES relaxes or weakens when it shouldn't, allowing stomach acid to escape into the esophagus. This backwash of acid is what we call reflux. As you can imagine, the esophagus isn't quite as equipped as the stomach to handle this acid, hence the discomfort and burning sensation we often associate with acid reflux. To paint a clearer picture, picture your stomach as a little factory, diligently producing acid to help digest your food. This acid is incredibly strong, powerful enough to break down everything you eat. Now this factory is equipped to handle the acid it produces. It has a special lining that protects it from the acid's corrosive effects. But the esophagus, unfortunately, doesn't have this protective lining. So when the stomach acid decides to take a detour and enters the esophagus, it can cause damage and inflammation, leading to the discomfort and pain known as heartburn. So when you're enjoying a late night snack and suddenly experience a burning sensation creeping up your chest, remember, it's your stomach's factory workers, the acids, that have gone on a bit of a riot, climbing up the esophagus and causing a ruckus. So. That's what's happening when you feel that familiar burning sensation. If you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel for more health-related content. You might be wondering, how does one get acid reflux? Well, it's not as complicated as you might think. Acid reflux, also known as gastroesophageal reflux disease, occurs when the acid in your stomach travels up into your esophagus, causing an uncomfortable burning sensation known as heartburn. There are several common causes of acid reflux. The first is diet. Consuming large meals or eating too close to bedtime can lead to acid reflux. Certain types of food can also trigger acid reflux, including spicy foods, fatty foods, citrus fruits, and carbonated beverages. So, if you're a fan of late-night spicy tacos, you might want to reconsider your dinner plans. Lifestyle factors also play a crucial role. If you're a smoker, you're more likely to experience acid reflux, as nicotine can weaken the muscle that controls the opening between your esophagus and stomach. The same goes for alcohol, which can also lead to acid reflux by irritating the esophagus and stomach lining. But it's not just about what you eat or drink. How you eat and drink can also contribute. For instance, eating quickly or on the go can lead to swallowing air which can increase pressure in the stomach and in turn cause acid reflux. Even your sleeping position can affect it. Lying flat can allow stomach acid to flow more easily into your esophagus, so elevating your head while sleeping can help reduce acid reflux symptoms. And let's not forget about genetic factors. Some people are simply more prone to acid reflux due to inherited physical traits like abnormalities in the stomach or esophagus. 
It's important to note that anyone can experience acid reflux, but these behaviors and conditions can significantly increase the risk. However, the good news is that most of these are modifiable. By understanding these risk factors and adjusting our habits accordingly, we can make strides in reducing the chances of experiencing acid reflux. Understanding these risk factors can help us make changes to reduce the chances of experiencing acid reflux. Now that we know what causes acid reflux, what can we do about it? Well, alterations in our diet can play a significant role. Let's start with the no-go's. Certain foods and beverages have a notorious reputation for triggering acid reflux. These include spicy foods, fatty foods, coffee, and alcohol. Each of these items can either weaken the lower esophageal sphincter, that's the muscle that acts as a valve between your stomach and your esophagus, or they can ramp up the production of stomach acid. Spicy foods, for instance, are a common culprit. The capsaicin in these foods can irritate the stomach lining, leading to increased acid production. So, it might be a good idea to hold off on that extra chili next time you're spicing up your meal. Then we have fatty foods. These slow down digestion, meaning the stomach stays full for longer. This can put pressure on the lower esophageal sphincter, causing it to open when it shouldn't and allow stomach acid to creep up into the esophagus. Coffee and alcohol, well, they're a double whammy. They can both weaken the lower esophageal sphincter and boost stomach acid production. Coffee, despite being a morning staple for many, can stimulate the secretion of stomach acid. Alcohol, on the other hand, relaxes the lower esophageal sphincter, making it easier for stomach acid to escape. Now, this isn't to say you can never enjoy these foods and beverages again. The key is moderation, but if you're frequently experiencing acid reflux, it could be worth considering cutting down on these potential triggers. Remember, everyone is different. What triggers acid reflux in one person may not in another. It's about finding out what works for you. Avoiding these trigger foods can significantly reduce the frequency and severity of acid reflux episodes. So, let's move on to what you can eat to help keep acid reflux at bay. Stay tuned. Let's shift our focus to the foods that are beneficial for those battling with acid reflux. These foods are not just tolerable for your gut, but they can also help strengthen your lower esophageal sphincter and neutralize stomach acid. First on our list is oatmeal. This humble breakfast staple is a fantastic source of whole grains and fiber. Fiber is necessary for a healthy digestive system and can aid in preventing acid reflux by keeping things moving along your digestive tract. Eating oatmeal for breakfast can set you up for a more comfortable day. Next, we have ginger. This root has been used for centuries in various cultures for its medicinal properties. It's known for its natural anti-inflammatory effects and is a powerhouse when it comes to soothing the digestive system. Adding a few slices of ginger to your tea or incorporating it into your meals can work wonders. Now, let's talk proteins. Lean proteins, such as chicken, turkey, fish and seafood, are low in fat and won't trigger your acid reflux. In fact, they can help strengthen the lower esophageal sphincter the muscle that prevents stomach acid from rising into your esophagus. Vegetables are another great addition to your diet. They are low in fat and sugar, which helps reduce stomach acid. Green vegetables like broccoli, asparagus, spinach and celery are particularly beneficial. Lastly, let's not forget about healthy fats. Foods like avocados, walnuts, flax seeds and olive oil are packed with monounsaturated fats that can help reduce acid reflux symptoms. They're also great for overall heart health. Remember, everyone's body is different, and what works for one person might not work for another. It's always a good idea to keep a food diary to track what foods seem to trigger your symptoms and which ones help. Incorporating these foods into your diet can help you manage acid reflux and lead a healthier, more comfortable life. But it's not all about what you can't eat. There are plenty of foods that can help soothe acid reflux. Acid reflux can be a discomfort, but understanding it and making smart dietary choices can make a world of difference. 
We've learned about this uncomfortable condition, its causes, and how the regurgitation of acid can impact our well-being. It's not just about the unpleasant sensation, it's a matter of health. We've also explored the foods that can trigger acid reflux, like spicy foods, caffeinated beverages, and fried or fatty foods. On the flip side, we delved into the foods that can actually help alleviate the symptoms. Foods rich in fiber, lean proteins, and non-citrus fruits can be your allies in this battle against acid reflux. Remember, if you frequently experience symptoms of acid reflux, it's crucial to consult a healthcare professional. They can provide you with a tailored plan to combat this condition and improve your quality of life. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of acid reflux. If you found this information helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel for more health-related content. Stay healthy and take care.